Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. This is Ilya. I'm an IT pro from Russia. Welcome to my channel and today I'm going to find out what is Docker. I know YouTube offers a lot of videos about Docker, but I don't want to repeat marketing information about Docker. This video is an attempt to consolidate the most important information for the understanding the concept of Docker. Less talking, more doing, let's go. I started my career 20 years ago and I think the world was a lot easier. We bought the hardware, we deployed operation systems, deployed applications. If we need a new application, we bought another server. In that times, many companies created own data centers with many physical servers. I know that HP had been selling virtualized hardware before I started my first job, but it was a very expensive way. In 2005, the IT world has changed significantly. CPU vendors added hardware virtualization support. I'm talking about Intel VT and IMD V technologies. It was a big transition to mass virtualization usage and OS isolation. Virtualization allowed operation systems to share the same hardware. Hypervisors isolated operation systems from each other. It resolved many issues. Can we buy one server and combine domain controller and exchange server? Yes, you can. Just deploy two virtual machines. But uh, multi-tenancy and cloud trends resumed isolation evolution. A container is a new isolation level for the processes. Containers hold the components necessary to run software. These components include files, environment variables, dependencies, libraries, etc. It means that you can run different containers on a single host. For example, an isolation allows to run two different applications with different Java versions on a single host. Containers require less resources, re less system resources than a virtual machine environment because they don't include operating system images. Aside the process isolation, uh, containers have other benefits. Run anywhere. The container is a self-isolated unit and you can run it anywhere that supports containers. I created my containers on Ubuntu and I can run it on CentOS or even Windows. The application running in containers can be deployed easily to multiple different operation systems and hardware platforms. Containers provide a reliable way to gather your application components and package them together. This is important because modern applications are very complex. Not only code, but also dependencies, binaries, system libraries, etc. Containers give uh, developers the ability to create predictable environments that are isolated from other applications. I see three different three key benefits of a containers. Consistent environment, run anywhere, and isolation. The main thing you should understand, uh, Docker doesn't provide container technology. Uh, it just hides the complexity of working directly with the container software in Linux. Containers implement through two Linux kernel features called namespace and control groups. There are six uh, namespaces in Linux. Uh, PID namespace that isolates the process, net namespace that isolates network interfaces, and uh, IPC, MNT, and UTS namespace that isolates kernel. What does it mean for you? It means that you can run isolated container with an isolated process that has own network interface own AP address, own binaries, etc. Control group is another technology. Um, with this technology, you can decide how much CPU and memory resources a container should use. And right now, I'll try to answer two questions. What is Docker and what does Docker? Docker is a popular open source project based on Linux. 
Docker is a container technology that uses two Linux kernel features, as I told you before, namespaces and control groups. Docker makes container world much easier. And Docker is a Linux software, but works well on the most operation systems. Summary, Docker is a command line program, a background daemon, and a set of remote services that simplify installing, running, publishing, and removing software. Docker accomplishes the using a Linux software called containers. If you want to work with containers, you should do it via Docker. As I said you before, Docker makes container world much easier. I Right now, I offer to get some information about the most popular questions about Docker. Containers and virtualization. First of all, containers are not virtualization. Docker containers don't use hardware virtualizations and all programs running inside Docker containers interface directly with the host's Linux kernel. Of course, we can combine both technologies. We can deploy virtual machine and set up a Docker and set up Docker inside this virtual machine. Azure and cloud. You can find a lot of information about Azure and Docker, and uh, you know there is no magic inside. Uh, it's just a virtual machine with deployed Docker inside. You can get a virtual machine with already deployed Docker inside, all set up own virtual machine and install Docker manually. Linux containers and Windows. Every book about Docker starts with the inform with information that you can install Docker in Linux, macOS and Windows 10 or Windows Server. It doesn't mean that Windows has namespaces or control groups or that Windows Core and Linux Core are the same. Docker for Windows has a requirement, Hyper-V. You should set up Hyper-V and run Linux operation system for containers, for usage containers. If you run a Linux container inside Windows, you always run Linux operation system and Docker inside. No magic, as I said it before. Lifecycle of containers. Containers offer own life way. We deploy the container. The container works hard. If you want to update software or change configuration, we would kill the existing container and deploy the updated one. But it's not necessary to redeploy a container every time you want to change configuration. We can use volumes. Volumes are the preferred mechanism for persisting data generated by and used by Docker containers. We can use volumes uh, to separate data from code and um, to be able to save data and to share data between our containers. Docker came up with the concept of volumes, volumes and uh, we can use volumes for persisting our configuration files, log files, data, databases, etc. The basic container's idea just keep data outside a container. A few words about containers applications. If you want to deploy a container with an application, you need an application image. Image is a basic building block of a Docker, of a container, like a template for creating containers. Uh, Docker provides a special service named uh, called uh, Docker Hub. It allows you to download images from a central location and Docker's, um, Docker's central location works like Git. You can build own images, commit it, and then push, upload it to, a, to the Docker Hub. I want to show you the simplest demo in the world. I already deployed uh, Docker on my Windows 10. And of course, I got a virtual machine with Linux on board. Okay, right now I have Docker on my Windows 10. And I want to download the engine's container image. I do it with uh, a common Docker image pool engine. OK, I got it. And the next command, launch a container in the background called 
and Jinx. And uh, also it maps uh, port 80 from my host machine to port 80 on the container. We can check that my container is running now. And of course we can connect uh, to a container. Okay, I'm trying to connect localhost with 80 port. As you can see, we we have connected to Nginx and uh, right now I see a start page of Nginx. Okay, right now I want to stop my container and uh, check the page one more time. Okay, a container, the container was stopped. I'm trying to update a page and you can see that hmm, I can't reach this page because I stopped my container before. Let's summarize information about Docker. Docker is a technology that uses such Linux kernel features as namespaces and control groups. Docker doesn't provide container technology, it just allows to simplify installing, running, publishing and removing software. Because Docker is available and supported on Linux, Mac OS and Windows, most software packaged in Docker image, images uh, can be used on any computer and as you saw during my demo I launched Nginx on my Windows 10 of course inside Linux container okay uh, thank you very much for watching this video uh, see you later and have a good week